Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This time I will show you how to install a clean and genuine Windows 10 on your computer. All that you need is a computer, an internet connection and a USB flash drive that has at least 8 GB of memory. So first thing first, open your browser and search Windows 10 USB Creator. Click on the link where writing the create installation media for Windows. Now click on the Windows version that fits your needs. I prefer Windows 10. Under create Windows 10 installation media, click on download tool. Now a software will be downloaded and you need to proceed its installation. Open the software and click yes. After this, you have to wait a few moments. We need now to accept the Microsoft software license terms. So click accept. Wait again for the few things to get ready. Click on Create Installation Media USB Flash Drive for another PC. For medium and high performance of computers, I do recommend you to select 64 bits. Click Next. Now we have to wait a little bit longer to download the Windows 10 installation. Again, we have to wait to create Windows 10 Media into the USB until it shows the message your USB flash drive is ready. Now click finish. Wait for the software to clean up the files before it closes. Next, restart your computer. By pressing F2 from the BIOS utility menu, we have to select the next boot option. Now scroll down till you will find boot override and select UAFI USB partition 1. Wait till the USB gets booted. Now the installation gets started. Click next. Click install now. Click I don't have a product key. I recommend you to select the Pro versions. So click on your favorite Windows 10 version and then click Next. Click on Custom Next. The Microsoft software asks where exactly would you like to install the Windows 10. I do recommend you to select each partition and then delete them one by one for a fresher installation. If you would like to keep some files from another partition, just avoid the partition you want to keep and do the rest for the other ones. 
The format option will delete your files from your partition, but it will keep the partition type and size as it was before. If you delete all the partition, it will show you drive 0, 1, 2, select driver 0 or 1 and then write down the sizes that you need for the specific partition and click apply then ok. The windows installation will create automatically your partition and add one system partition and one MSR reserve for your future backups. Now select the partition that you want your windows to be installed then click next. After the installation has finished your computer will restart and then we need to configure it for our needs. Now select your favorite language, then click yes. Select your keyboard layouts language, then click yes again. Wait a few minutes. Click setup for personal use, then next. Now, the Microsoft installation will ask you to add your Microsoft account. If you do have one, please write your email, phone or Skype user to log in. If you don't have one, click on create an account. Also, if you don't remember your Microsoft account password, just click sign in with a security key that will be sent to your email account. Whatever you choose, now click next. We need to create a PIN. This is the password for your Windows. Write your PIN, then click OK. Now, I do recommend using my exact choices for a good configuration of your windows. So click not now. Click no, then accept. Again, no and accept. Click on send required diagnostic data, then accept. Click no, then accept. Again and again. Click skip then click remind me later or if you want a well configured windows click no thanks. For backup files tick back up my files then click next. If you don't want to click on don't back up my files then click next. Don't worry if your monitor gets blank for a few seconds and sometimes it might update your resolution. Click on decline the Microsoft 365 offer. Click decline or continue. Click next. Not now.
Now we have to wait several minutes till the Windows configuration will be finished. As you can see now, the Windows 10 installation has been finished. As you can see, my computer had set a screen resolution that doesn't fit my actual monitor. So we have to change this. Right click, select display settings. On the display resolution, Choose the one that fits your monitor size, then click apply and OK. Now close the window and open my files. Right click on blank space and choose properties. Double check if your windows is activated, if it doesn't, you need to buy a Windows product key. Open your browser, type google.com and write on the search bar Windows 10 product key. And you can see that you will find a lot of good deals, which in my opinion is worth the money. Rather to have a pirated version of the Windows of having an unlicensed Windows version, which would slow you down. Now going back to the installation of our fresh windows, as you can see, the windows do not show all the partitions created. So we need to write on the search bar, create and format hard disk partition and click on it. If you are paying attention, one of the partitions from disk 1 is hidden. The specific partition has 281.25 GB. So right click on it, then select change driver letter and paths, add then OK. Now we have to do the same steps for disk 0, right click, change driver letter and paths, add then ok. Now moving back to this PC, the hidden partitions shows up now, double click on each of them, then click format disk, now click on restore device defaults and then click on the start button. Do the same steps for the next one as well. Again, try to rename them as well to not be confused on your further installations. The last step that uh, I believe is very useful is to defragment all the hard disk partitions. To do this from this PC, we have to select any partition, then right click on it, select properties, then tools, click optimize, and now select all the partition with a click, then Click on Analyze All and then Optimize All. After finishing this defragmentation, click Close. 
your new and fresh Windows 10 is ready to perform your needs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care and please be productive. See ya!